Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel. I have no idea what I'm doing, um, but we are reading some more Colby Brock fan fiction today. Now, the rest of this video is going to look a little bit different because at the time of recording, I didn't realize that I had been reading for literally 50 minutes. Obviously, the edited version is not 50 minutes, but I only filmed uh, one intro. So it's going to look a little bit different, but that is okay. As always, by me reading these stories, this is not me making fun of um, the authors in any way. All of these writers are already better writers than I am, and they're publishing their works online to be publicized and criticized by people. Like, that's incredible. Also, all of this is fiction. I did not write any of this. I do not condone going to these people and being weird about it, okay? No one's done that yet, but you never know. The internet is a very weird place. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into part two. I hope you guys like it. This was actually a really good story that I had fun reading. Once they got to the emergency room, Cammy walked Colby in while Sam parked the car. When Sam walked into the waiting room, he took the clipboard from Cammy and started filling out Colby's information for him. I don't feel good, Colby said, leaning his head on Cammy's shoulder. Well, Sam said you haven't eaten anything today and you just had a massive adrenaline rush. You're probably going to feel crappy for a bit, she replied, putting her arm around him to give him some comfort. They'll take you back soon, though. There aren't many people in here. Less than 15 minutes later, Colby's name was called and he was taken back to his own private room. Can my friends come in here while I'm getting stitches? Colby asked, panicking a bit. The nurse answered, you can have one person in here while the doctor is patching you up. After that, you can have up to three. Would you like me to go get someone from the waiting room? Obviously, it's going to be us. Colby immediately answered. Her name is Cammie. I feel like we need like a group name. So that way, like when we read these stories, we can use our group name and then we can just all be like, yeah, that's us. That's us. Go us. When the nurse walked out into the waiting room, she called out for Cammie. When she explained that Colby could only have one visitor for the next hour or so and that he'd be in the hospital for a minimum of 24 hours, Sam asked to borrow her car. I read that really awfully and I'm really sorry. I'm not rereading it. We were planning on posting this video tomorrow and my laptop is at the apartment. Do you mind if I run and grab it? Sam, your friend is in the ER getting stitches and you're worried about a YouTube video? I think your viewers will understand. I would. Not at all. Make sure to grab some clothes for both of you and a coffee for me if you don't mind. Cammie replied, handing him some cash. Dude, I'll buy you all the coffee you want, but keep your money. You've helped us so much. Sam pushed her hand, holding the money back towards her. I'll grab some food too. When Cammie followed the nurse into Colby's room, his face lit up. You stayed, he said, reaching out for her hand. See, it's cute little moments like these that I'm just like obsessed with and that like get me all like giddy. That's so weird. I'm so sorry. Of course I stayed. How are you doing, brave boy? She chuckled, looking at the IV in his other hand. Not so brave at the moment. I fucked hate hospitals, Colby said, visibly uncomfortable. Was Sam mad I wanted you to come back for the stitches? Not at all, she laughed. He was relieved. He took my car to go grab some stuff from your apartment. Oh, thank God, he said, releasing her hand to text Sam something. I want him to get her one of my hoodies, he thought. Oh, I would die. Adding phone chargers to the list of he texts Sam to grab. They said I have to stay full 24 hours so they can give me antibiotics and a tetanus shot, Colby said, reaching for Cammie's hand again. She pulled up a chair to the hospital bed and grabbed Colby's hand. That's good, though. They'll be able to make sure you don't get sick. It felt like forever before the doctor walked in and introduced himself. I hear you have a pretty bad gash, he said, gently unwrapping the ace bandage from Colby's leg. Colby winced, so Cammie answered. Yeah, we were all on a hike and he fell, caught his leg on a piece of metal. Colby squeezed her hand in his. Oh boy, you really cut yourself good there, the doctor said, leaning down to examine the wound. Who bandaged this? He said, probing the little strip bandages. I did, Cammie replied. I didn't want it to stay dirty or start to heal open before we could get here. Did you sterilize it? He asked, looking impressed at her handiwork. I flooded the whole thing with rubbing alcohol and used sterile gauze to clean it out. It stung like a bitch, Colby laughed. She started to get nervous. Did I do it wrong? 
On the contrary, I don't think I'm going to remove the butterfly bandages or give him stitches. At this point, it would reopen the wound, and I think it's better off healing how it is. He removed his glasses and stood straight up. We'll keep an eye on it while he's here, but Mr. Brock, I think you're in good hands with this one. You know, I'm just saying he would be in really good hands with me. Colby Brock. I'm here. Colby squeezed her hand and looked over at her. I think so, too. The doctor replaced the outer bandages and informed Colby his other friend could join him whenever. Colby texted Sam what room he was in, and soon enough, Sam walked in with a much larger backpack on, food in one hand, and a drink carrier in the other. How'd the stitches go? Sam asked, handing out the food and pulling out the laptop and phone chargers. I didn't actually end up needing any. Cammy did such a good job, he didn't want to redo it. Colby answered, biting into the burger Sam handed him. God, this tastes so good. I was starving. Okay, I feel like I keep seeing them call each other brother in stories. Am I crazy or have I never heard them call each other brother in their videos? Or have they? I feel like I've never heard that, but maybe I'm crazy. Well, you are also suffering from blood loss, so I'm sure that burger makes you feel a lot better. Cammie laughed, throwing a few fries in her mouth. I feel better already just knowing I don't have to get stitches, he replied, inhaling more of his burger. It was quiet in the room for about another half hour or so as everyone ate and let the stress of the night slowly pass them over. We never filmed an outro, Sam said, pulling out his headphones and grabbing his camera. Let's stand on either side of Colby's bed and do it. Sam started setting the camera up on the tripod. Oh, I don't need to be in it. I can just film it for you, Cammy said, standing up from her chair by Colby. Colby grabbed her hand before she could walk away. Oh, you're definitely going to be in it, he said, smiling up at her. Fine. Oh, I hate this sentence. I hate this sentence. Fine. But only because you've been a brave boy. She laughed, messing up Colby's hair. Ooh. She stood on one side of his bed while Sam took his place on the other. I survived, Colby half yelled, clearing his throat and fixing his messed up hair. I'm not quite sure when Sam stopped filming, so I don't know where you saw us last, but tonight has definitely been an adventure. You got that right. Colby not only lost his dignity, but we made a new friend, Sam said, gesturing to Cammie. And I've apparently found two amateurs who need lessons in climbing, Cammie laughed. I will say whoever wrote this is very quick and I love their humor. Hey, I'm hurt. You're both supposed to be nice to me, Colby fake pouted. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. These two are awesome. I can't wait to find their channel and subscribe, which is what you guys should do, Cammie said, pointing at the camera. She's a natural, Sam laughed. How about this? If this video gets 100K likes, Cammie will go back to that bando with us and teach Colby how to get on the roof, Sam said, looking hopefully at Cammie. Oh, an abandoned building. I hate that. Oh, teach Colby, huh? Colby snarked at Sam. You don't know how to either. She'll teach both of us how to get on the roof. You're cute when you're grumpy, Cammie said, laughing at Colby. And of course, I would love to go back. They ended the outro after explaining again that Colby was fine and that he'd be able to go home tomorrow night. After they talked a bit more, Sam had his headphones in and Colby saw Cammy gathering her things. Are you leaving me? He asked, a sad look on his face. I assumed you'd want to get some rest, she answered, walking to the side of his hospital bed and grabbing his hand. Sam has my number, so we can definitely get you guys that second video. But what if I don't want you to go? He stuck his bottom lip out and stared at her with his big blue eyes. You need rest, Colby, <laughs> Cammie said, leaning down to kiss his forehead. So do I, actually. I practically carried your ass down five flights of stairs, she laughed. Laughing, Colby scooted away from the side of the bed Cammie was standing by. I see a perfectly good bed right here. If you think my thick-ass self is going to fit in that little sliver of bed, you may have hit your head when you hurt your leg, Cammie said, covering her mouth because she laughed so loud. Cammy, Colby dragged out your name whining, but also laughing. I just realized it's been changing from you and she. So I apologize. I'm hurt. I need cuddles. I even had Sam bring you my favorite hoodie so you'd be comfy. He finished scooting over so you'd have a little bit more room. Oh, fine, you big baby. Cammy gave in, plugging her phone into charge. She grabbed the hoodie and slipped it on. She slipped off her vans and gently crawled into the hospital bed with Colby. If we get in trouble for this, you're taking the blame. Fine with me, Colby said, pulling Cammie towards him so that she half laid across his chest. 
But your leg over here, he said, waiting for her to throw her leg over his uninjured one. I don't want to hurt your other leg, she said, hesitating. You won't just cuddle with me, damn it, he chuckled, pulling Cammie tighter to him. <laughs> After a few minutes of giggles and getting comfortable, Colby finally broke the silence. I never said thank you, he said, thinking back to the events that had taken place. Tonight could have gone wrong for so many reasons. He shuddered, imagining that someone dangerous could have found them while he was injured, or he could have passed out, leaving Sam to panic alone. Cammie felt Colby shake and looked up at him. Don't worry about it. Things happen for a reason. You're safe, and I've got two new friends. Cammie studied the look on Colby's face. He looked sad, almost. I had to like read forward a little bit to make sure that there was no like spicy content in here. No, I need to properly thank you. <laughs> he looked down at her, running his hand over her hair. You don't know how often Sam and I run into people that just don't care. You corrected me earlier tonight. You said that nobody's a nobody and that everyone has insecurities. Colby paused, sighing. He stared at the ceiling. I may have felt like a lost, insecure nobody when I was a kid, but honestly, LA and fame and followers, it makes me way more insecure than I ever felt as a kid. Sam and I have very few real friends out here. We're constantly making friends that just want something from us. And tonight, you risked your own safety to help us. You didn't know if we would hurt you. You didn't know we were famous. You helped us without expecting anything in return, and I will never be able to thank you enough. That's so sweet. Looking up at Colby, Cammie saw that he was still staring up at the ceiling. She felt sad for him. Colby, Cammie said, reaching up to pull his gaze down to hers. You know you deserve good things, right? You may live in a fake-ass city, but I'm willing to bet that the people who meet you, even the ones that want to use you for your fame, are better people because they met you. I'm so grateful I chose tonight to go to that abandoned building. Oh. Nothing spicy, but here we go. The doctor gave me pain meds, so if you're mad at me for this, you can blame them on the meds, Colby said before leaning down and pressing his lips to Cammie's. I'm very grateful you chose tonight to go to the bando, too. Colby stared down at her for a few seconds before leaning back and pulling her tighter to his side. Let's get some rest, babe. Cammie could feel her lips tingle as she buried her face in Colby's chest. She wanted to say something back, but she felt like she would ruin the moment. Ugh, me. Soon, the both of them drifted off, exhausted from the crazy night they shared. Sam had stayed up, sitting in the corner, continuing to edit, consuming copious amounts of coffee, and trying to finish the video on time. It was almost 3 a.m. when Colby had been taken to his room at the hospital, and it was now almost 8 a.m. When he decided he needed to stretch his legs, he took his headphones out, and he turned towards the other two. He hadn't even realized Cammie had crawled into the bed with Colby. I was wondering what Sam was doing during this like whole interaction, like, hello, your best friend's still in the room with you. As he gazed over their intertwined bodies, he couldn't help but smile. Colby had texted him a few times about Cammie as the night had played out, and Sam could tell that he really liked her. Sam grabbed his phone and snapped a few pictures of them. Ah, oh, that's me as a friend. He took a short walk through the hospital hallways to stretch his legs and went back to finish the video. A short while later, a nurse came in to check on Colby. Aren't they cute, she said, looking at Sam. They aren't going to get in trouble, are they, he said, ready to wake them up. No, no, sugar, don't worry. The doctor won't be back in here to check on him until around noon because you guys came in so late. I'm just going to write down his numbers and replace his IV bag and I'll be out of here. Sam had finished editing the video and was using his Wi-Fi hotspot to upload it to YouTube. Cammie had given Sam her Instagram handle when he asked her what link she wanted in the video of the description. Waiting for the video to finish uploading, Sam went to follow her on Instagram. I thought this was going a wrong way, but it's not. Holy shit he said, scrolling through her pictures. He realized he was already following her and that she had almost 3 million followers. Cammie's Instagram didn't have a single photo of herself. In fact, no one knew what she actually looked like or that it was her. It was filled with beautiful graffiti art that she painted over bad or harmful graffiti. She would post before and after photos. She covered up racial or homophobic slurs, bad words, hateful phrases, and what she left were beautiful morals. Murals and what she left were beautiful murals that rebelled against those slurs. The post she made right before meeting Sam and Colby was two photos from the building they had just been in. A before picture of graffiti someone had left saying, I'm worthless, and an after picture of a mural she had painted. It was big and it was bright. 
It was of two people embracing each other with the words, you are worth the world, written above them and below them, framing the art. Sam liked the photo and scrolled back to the newest photo she had posted. It was a screenshot of something she had written in her notes app on her phone. It said, I met two amazing people tonight. The description under the photo read, you're finally going to find out who I am. Make sure to subscribe to Sam and Colby to catch the big reveal. Sam laughed and pulled up a new post. He picked one of the photos he had taken of Cammy and Colby cuddled together in the hospital bed and wrote out his caption. Sometimes when you least expect it, the best people walk into your life. New video up in 10. Make sure you don't miss it. P.S. Colby is alive and safe. Please don't freak out because of the hospital room. Watch the new video for the full story. That's literally a caption that they would make. Sam changed the video from unlisted to public and hit save. He tweeted out a few things from his Twitter and the duo Twitter. He uploaded the thumbnail to his Instagram story and laid across the chairs that were in the room. He turned off his phone and fell asleep. Colby woke up a bit later to the doctor messing with his bandage. Sorry to wake you, the doctor said quietly. Colby rubbed his eyes, squinting from the bright lights. It's okay. Do I have to wake her up or can I let her sleep? He said, looking down at Cammie. She was still all tucked into his side, her hair flung wildly across her face and his chest. Oh, you don't have to wake her, the doctor chuckled. Sounds like you guys had a long night. The nurse said your friend there didn't go to sleep until a little over an hour ago, he said, pointing to Sam. Oh, he must have been up editing, Colby answered. Are you in much pain? The doctor asked, wrapping Colby's leg back up. My leg is throbbing, he answered honestly. I figured your pain meds had worn off, the doctor said, getting ready to leave. I'll send the nurse in with some more, and then you should get some more rest. Thank you, Colby answered, grabbing his phone and waiting for the nurse. He opened up Instagram and scrolled through his feed. He stopped at Sam's post. He liked the photo and then read the caption. He noticed that Sam had tagged Cammie, so he clicked on her profile. He was met with the same shock Sam was. I already followed you and I had no idea, he said, looking down at the sleeping figure beside him in awe. Hers was one of his favorite Instagram accounts. She brought so much beauty into the world. He clicked on the story feature on his own profile. Holding his phone out far enough to get both Cammie and himself in the frame, he started talking. Hey guys, I'm sure that by now a lot of you have already watched the video. I haven't had a chance to watch the footage because I've been in the hospital sleeping. He laughed, his eyes dropping down to Cammie. I'm alive and fine, but last night was crazy, so make sure you swipe up and watch it. I hope this beautiful girl is going to be in many more videos with us, so make sure you follow her as well. I think many of you will be surprised to find you already follow her. I sure was. He ended the story, added a filter, added the link, and sent it to his profile. The nurse walked in and handed Colby some pain meds to swallow with a cup of water. He thanked her and laid back in his bed. He waited for them to kick in. He thought about how crazy the last 12 hours had been. He grabbed his phone one more time, opening up the Twitter app. He decided to take what Sam had written and tweeted out, with spin. LA may be a fake ass city, but sometimes when you least expect it, the best people walk into your life. He closed his phone, brushed the hair out of Cammie's face, pressed a gentle kiss to her forehead and fell asleep. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that, oh, can you imagine, what, like, Literally, because that's literally what we're reading right now. But can you imagine if like Colby and Sam were like actually out like on a trip like this and Colby met a girl and like this happened? You know, they would not post that shit on social media. Oh my God, that girl would be like murdered. Okay, that's a little dramatic and I'm kidding. But you know, Colby's fans would go wild. They would eat that shit up and not in a good way. They would leave no crumbs and not in a good way. You know, I am interested to see if comments like that will start flooding to Sam's social media now that him and Kat aren't together, which I absolutely hate. I love them so much. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. That was one little short story. What did you guys think? think. I thought that was so cute. I love stories like this that are just like cute and wholesome and like fun, but also we were so sassy. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys have any other stories that you want me to read, um, feel free to leave them in the comments um, or all of my social media will be linked below. You can send them to me on any of my social media. Make sure to hit this video Okay, don't hit this video. Please don't hit your computer screen. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. The plan is to upload every Tuesday and Friday. 
And I am really looking forward to getting back in front of you guys and giving you guys something that you want while also having fun because this was so much fun to film and I can't believe I ever stopped filming these. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video.